Here's how we're going to draw a flamingo. So what I've done here is I split my paper in half this way, and then I split it almost in half this way because his legs are almost as tall as his body and his neck. Now I've split the paper in half, the top half in half again, and that's where I'm gonna make his body. Um, and the rest is gonna be where his head's gonna be. So now I'm gonna draw the main part of his body, which is going to be a um, sort of a teardrop shape. So I'm gonna draw that like that. And then I'm gonna come up here um, a little bit over from his body and all the way at the top and draw a, an oval. So I'm gonna draw that there. And then I'm gonna draw his beak. His beak is big, almost as big as the oval and almost as long as the head. So you can kind of measure that there. Now I'm coming from the side of his head and I'm gonna draw an S shape, curving around the side of the head and then coming back into here. I'll make it come out a little more. Now I'm gonna come down here in the middle and I'm gonna draw a leg. The leg's gonna come all the way down, almost to the bottom of my paper. I'm gonna draw a circle here and sort of a part of a cone, looks like a duck foot. And then a little bit above halfway up, I'm gonna do another circle and that's gonna be the other kneecap. Now his second leg is bent. A lot of times a flamingo just stands on one single leg. So I'm gonna have this leg come up here, have an ankle, maybe an ankle there, and then have that foot curve down to another little um, sort of a cone coming there. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw an eye. I'm gonna draw a circle and then another little circle inside of it for a, a pupil. And then coming out from there, I'm gonna draw sort of a U shape for the top and a U shape for the bottom. And then a line out of the bottom of that U shape and that's gonna be the center of this guy's beak. And his beak is a little bit angular. So I'm gonna erase a little bit of the curve and have it come out and down a little bit. So there we have that. Okay, next, so we can start to see looking like a bird looking like a flamingo. Let me make that come out a little. Um, now I'm gonna make his neck thicker. I'm gonna have it come around on this side with a parallel S shape. That means the S shape is exactly the same, but just next to the one I had before. And I make this one come around a little bit here get a little wider at the bottom, and then sort of a U coming up. Now I can erase the middle line. I don't need it anymore. And I don't need the back of the circle because now it's his head connecting to its neck. So if we erase that border, now they're friends, friends forever. And now I'm gonna erase the border here And I'm gonna erase these guidelines as I don't need them anymore. And it depends what you're gonna do with your bird. If you're gonna shade your bird, you might not need to erase as much as if you're gonna do a painting or a colored pencil. If you are, you really just wanna get it back down to one line, one outline. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a little curved line that's going to be sort of a bottom wing and then a C shape up here and another one here, or maybe one here, one here. 
And that's just where I'm gonna show different feathers. On this bottom one, this wing, I'm gonna have the top of some feathers coming here. And I'm just drawing sort of hooks coming around. And they don't need to all be the same and get a little thicker as it goes down. Like come there. And um, this one will have some feathers going in between these two. This will be the first row of feathers. So I'm just going to do some thin, long, thin V shapes coming around here. And then when I come under here, I'm going to have even just some more, and I'm staggering them a little bit. You don't want them to be exactly in a row because that's not the way the feathers are. Let's have one coming up, and then we'll do another layer here. We can have another one coming up. They're coming here and they're kind of curving up a little bit. Oops, that one's not real pointy. Something like that. Okay, now I'm going to come around and make these feet a little better. I'm going to make this um, leg thicker. I'm going to go on the inside and make a parallel line here and then I'll come out and make it look more like toes. So I'm going to have three pointed toes here and then a little bit of a little bit of an ankle and then leg. This is really just the bottom half of the leg and then we can erase this these guidelines. And same thing on this one, make a parallel line. So I'm gonna have it come down here on the side and I'm gonna make this kneecap. Down here and I'm gonna make the foot a little flatter and make it three toes like that. I'm going to erase my guidelines that I don't need anymore. And I'll go up and erase these. The top part here of the bird is a little more downy or um, fluffy. So the feathers, you can't really see them on that part because they're real um, soft and thin. So I'm just going to erase these guidelines. And then your feathers, if you want to make them have, you know how feathers have a line in the middle? Sometimes you could do that on some of them. And next, you can either paint yours with watercolor or I'll show you how to shade it with pencil. So thanks for watching Art Happy with Katie. Be sure to subscribe. And um, next, we'll show you what to do next with your uh, flamingo.